Hi, welcome to Uni Parenting. I am B Moise and today we are going to be talking about parenting and trauma, specifically your trauma as a parent and how it impacts you with your parenting technique and basically how you view any situation that your child is experiencing um, based off the trauma that you experience. So it's basically a conversation about going to the past <laughs> and how it affects your present and then how it may impact your child's future. So we're taking a journey. <laughs> um, but okay, so basically, the person you are is a combination of all that you've experienced prior to today, right? So everything about you is from childhood, things you experienced, you liked, you loved, you didn't like, things that made you fearful, things that made you feel great, things that made you feel bad. That is who you are. We are like a walking time capsule of everything that's, you know, that is experienced by us or felt or whatever it may be. So that is who you are. So it's not any different when it comes to parenting. Because here's the deal. When you become a parent, this is your first experience of this. You've never had this experience before. So everything your child is experiencing, the emotions that comes from it is based off your past. So when a child is being disrespectful, it is an experience from your past of how you perceive that as disrespect or a child being a child or you know what however you feel about it so i have i have a really long line when it comes to disrespect i don't really see it as disrespect with a lot of things that my kids do i just see it as child behavior right but that's because i don't have a particular trauma attached to certain things that they do so it doesn't elicit that feeling of I've been, you know, challenged because I don't feel challenged. I feel like, oh, you're just being a kid. And how do we have a conversation through that? But that's only because I don't have trauma attached to it. However, when it comes to certain things such as not being independent, <laughs> not being a go-getter, I have my own childhood trauma and experiences tied to you need to be independent. Like you need to be able to get things done. Otherwise you will die. I mean, ultimately, that is just how I feel. Not reality, not true. But that's based off my, you know, own personal trauma. I'm the youngest. And let's be honest, parents, we neglect the youngest. Um, well, and also, we just kind of they figure it out. And I am a figure it out type of person. So when my kids can't figure it out, immediately, I am triggered. I'm triggered by my past. It is not the current version of me. The adult version of me would not be triggered by something a kid cannot do because I know better. That version understands that this is a child. They've never experienced this before. They require some navigation. They need to know what to do. And the adult version of me can help them through that. However, the child version of me do not understand that. So that is a trigger. That is what we call a psychological trigger. So when you are parenting, a lot of the triggers that you're having and the reason that your child is triggering it, it's definitely something that you haven't dealt with or you may not even know is a trigger, whether it's a child asking for help or their tone changing or whatever it is that a kid may do that now you are having a irrational response to it. That is a symptom of, hey, let me sit back and go, hmm, let me revisit this and see how I can handle it because it's not that child's fault, right? Your past should not impact their future because that is what will happen if it's not checked and if you don't understand what you're doing and what's going on. So parenting is supposed to be in the present. Now, obviously you bring some of the past that was good and even some of the trauma things now, not all of my, you know, be independent skills I think are bad because I don't, um, but some of them, I, I kind of have to realize, okay, you don't need to know how to figure things on your own because that's what I'm here for. So I try to create a balance of what's good versus what is not bad and just kind of let those go. So when you're triggered, just understand that that is a younger version of you showing up. 
that is not you. So that also should give you the grace and the ability to understand you didn't do anything wrong, okay? It's not your fault that you're responding this way. You're not a bad person. You're not a bad parent. It is simply a, I did not know, therefore this is what I'm doing. So these, th these videos, I hope help educate to help you understand that there's always room to grow. Now that you understand what, you know, trauma parenting looks like or trigger psychological trigger parenting looks like, you can make the adaptations to change it and make it better so that it improves a relationship between you and your child. Because ultimately your past really should not be so in your present <laughs> um, that it is impacting your child's future and your future with your child right? You guys caught that, right? So make sure you are constantly in making, you know, becoming aware of your past and what is being triggered so that your child's future can look different. Because guess what? It is different. You're different. Scenarios different. Situations different. Recently, our kids, we started watching 90 shows and they have so many questions about what is this? What's that? What's going on in here? Why blah, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah, we're in a different time. <laughs> they have so many questions about, well, why can't they just do this? Or why can't they just da da? And why can't, and I'm like, that wasn't available. So your past is very different from their present. So make sure that you are parenting in the present, in the moment. Bring some of the stuff from the past that are good. Learn from the bad, but let's not repeat it so that your child's, Trauma can be something brand new. <laughs> That's a joke. Um, but definitely let's not repeat what did not work and what's not effective and be very and be very mindful of what things trigger you, even though you may not know they're triggering to you. So that's that conversation. This one was focused mostly on you and what you can do to make sure that your parenting is a reflection of what you want it to be and not what it was based off previous experiences that is no longer relevant. So in the meantime, I want you all to enjoy your unique parenting journey with your unique child. <laughs>